We've got Republican Kentucky Congressman and raking member of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer. Congressman, thank you so much for being with us. And I'd like to start where Leland and the Congresswoman left off with some 2020 politics and some Fox News polls. And we saw a little bit of a uh, change in tone, shall we call it, uh, a little bit of a change from President Trump in terms of how he's responding to the coronavirus pandemic <clears throat> this week. And you're a Trump campaign surrogate. I'm curious uh, if polls like that are part of the reason why. Well, I think uh, I will agree for once with Congresswoman Dingell. Uh, a lot of the Trump supporters are truly the forgotten Americans because they just don't show up in, in polling. They never have. And uh, apparently it's no different today than it was four years ago. I, I think this is going to be a close race. Certainly the president has always taken COVID-19 very seriously. Uh, this virus changes constantly. And the president has, uh, to his credit, changed with it. And, and he understands that wearing a mask is something that will definitely uh, create a better environment and help flatten the curve. So uh, I applaud the president's uh, willingness to, to wear a mask and to go back out to the public and, and start having uh, a big presence at the uh, daily briefings. I understand that there are uh, a lot of people who understandably would question polling after what happened in 2016, but a lot of these polls show a pretty big gap uh, between Joe Biden and the president. And I get the argument that there is uh, the silent Trump voter, but are there enough silent Trump voters to, to make up the deficit that we're seeing in so many of these polls? Well, we're certainly going to find out in 100 days, but I think that uh, if there are any undecided voters out there, uh, they're certainly watching the news. They're seeing the unrest in the major cities, the cities that are run by Democrat mayors and Democrat governors, where uh, the Democrat leaders continue to turn a blind eye to the violence, uh, to the destruction. Uh, they they uh, are not uh, taking the side of the law and order. They're, they're, they've turned their back on the police. And the president is serious about law and order. He's uh, made it clear that if the locals and the state law enforcement uh, refuse to go in and restore order and, and stop violent criminals from destroying federal property, he's going to go in with the federal presence. And I think that uh, most Americans are concerned about their safety. They're concerned about the safety and well-being for their children and grandchildren. They see the difference in uh, the mindset with respect to the rule of law between Democrats and Republicans. And I think over the next 100 days, undecided voters are going to be focused on who is the best person to lead our country through these uh, uh, challenging times of unrest and uh, a challenging economy. And I think they're going to go with Donald Trump in the very end.